Bonjour, donc aujourd'hui nous sommes mercredi, c'est l'avant avant dernier jour de dégustation. Une grosse journée avec 5 euh, dégustations prévues. Il est 7h45, ça fait déjà une heure que je suis sur la route. Et voilà, ça s'annonce une journée assez chargée, ça va être cool. My friend Grégoire. Nice Hi, to meet Grégoire. you. I'd like you to meet my husband. Sure. And um, we're gonna, I'm just going to run you up to the vineyards quickly. Great. Come back down. And then we're going to taste some wines with one maker to know um, in our tasting room. Sure. Morning. 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 Hi. Hello. Good morning. Who's yours? Hi. Stéphanie, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi Stéphanie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we wanted to give you an idea about Terroir. Yeah, I think we just made this for Kensis Robinson. She has selected one of our wines as wine of the week. We are in the mixing zone. You see it's quite cold. There are 20 degrees water surface temperature. So the appellation here is what? Walker, Walker, Walker Bear. Walker Bear. The river he was talking about. That's the lagoon and the yeah. river. Yeah, the river feeds the lagoon and the lagoon goes all the way out oh, to the ocean. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's nice to be able to see the lay of the land and with the mountains on the other side. And the wind, it's really funny. Today we have no wind. But usually it's yeah, a long wind. blowing this way and blowing this way. Uh, is that uh, how it is the mountain called? And this Klein River mountain. Klein, Klein River. I think is that not Monskin Kop? Yes, uh, to the left. To the left. So yesterday yeah. I was in Emel and Harden. Is it next to? The, I mean, behind this mountain, the, the valley. Yeah, Emel and Harden oh, okay. on the other side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And they have the same soil as, as these mountains do. So you press the pinotage right away, you give the juice. Yeah, all bunch pressed and then uh, uh, oxidative handling of the juice yeah, as opposed to putting charcoal to take the color out because it's quite common for people making sparkling wine that they put a lot of charcoal to remove the pink color. We oxidize in the juice, splashing it. So no sulfur added on the juice of the pinotage. Splash it until it's brown. So the, all the underside is brown, and then after fermentation, the browning drops out, and you have a slight peach color to the, to the pinotage. Hi, I'm Francis. Stephanie, nice to meet you. Um, let's let's go and taste the wine, yeah. and then I can show yeah. you a bit of the vineyards. Okay. Sure. Okay. 60, 80 meters above sea, sea level. Down here at the bottom is about 10 meters above sea level, and then, then it go up about the vineyards. So then, because we we the most southern tip of Africa, um, you have both oceans on both sides, and you always that's just what our chill factor is. While we're the coolest climate in South Africa. And that is where the two oceans meet. I know in Cape Town it also says the two oceans, yeah. but world recognized oh. it is down here at yes. the most southern tip. And when you go down the Cape of Gullis and you have a look, you can see the difference. It, you can it? see. When you yeah, stand you at the most southern tip of yeah. Africa, yeah, you can and see it's Indian Ocean and then Atlantic yeah. Ocean. You, you don't get any kelp. It is a line that yeah. goes down. Is it far away from here? No, it's not far. It's about, okay. a drive by car is about 35 kilometers okay. from here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come offline now? Yeah, let's offline. Let's show your rooms. Okay. Oh. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Can, um, uh, maybe go for a quick drive, I think. Okay. 
Oh. So now we are at Drift. It's the last tasting of the day and only two more days to go in terms of tasting. So we just arrived at that lost winery in the middle of nowhere and we are staying here tonight. My friend in the room and it looks like this is pretty cool. Drift. Sort of more or less where the trees are. Yeah. We've got tons of water that comes down here, which is really cool. So you're really quite lucky. This is a Fainbos Reserve called Salmon's Dump. Are you gonna pick me up on this with all this crazy wind? If you <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. If you say any bullshit it will be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> no no no. So so this is the Salmon's Dump Nature Reserve and then just over the other side is Elam and there's about 40 kilometers to the to the sea. So we get these very cold, cool breezes that come up and come down. It's, in winter it's really cold and summer it's cool. So it's really good for the, good for the grapes. When you say winter is very cold, it's like... Yeah, between Burgundy and Bordeaux, somewhere around there, you know. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not going to get frost or anything. But it, But unlike France, we don't get even ripening like you guys, you know. <laughs> I think that's the thing about France. France has the most amazing red fruit. Everything ripens at the same time, you know. Which is also the joy of South African wine. You know? So and it's the challenges are. sandy soil and clay. So we have a mix. We are. So this is them. Um, of them. Um, Table Mountain Range, so we get Table Mountain Sandstone. We've got shale, we've got clay. We've also got a god of almost marble, another few million years. And it's quite cool that this farm got lots of different soils. Don't look at kettles in the mouth, plant the barbera and Bruce said, no ways, we're too cold, we're too windy, barbera is never going to work. And Bruce said, alright, to spite you, I'm going to plant plant it and prove you wrong. And it's, it's our best variety. Yeah, it's just, it just does so well, it loves it, comes off at low pH, high sugar. I work it relentlessly hard in, in the cellar, six to seven, seven punch times. And it's just one of our, it's one of the standout varieties on the farm. So it's but, amazing. Yeah. I mean, compared to Piment, are you cooler? Because Piemonte is quite cool. It could yeah. be quite cool where they plant Barbera. Yeah, I just I don't know. I, I gotta be honest. Yeah. I don't know if we what mm. I don't know what the temperature difference is. Well. Yeah. yeah, we've got about 19 hectares that we farm. 19 hectares and. Like how many for vegetables, how many for... Yeah, it's, it's, most, it's mostly vineyards. You know. It's not a lot, we don't produce a lot. And then he built Flagstone up. Over the years he sold it to, at that state, Constellation. He so sold he it sold Flagstone? Yeah, to Constellation. I was there uh, last week. And it's, it's a lack of company to work for as a tent. 